Getting the closest neighbor from point A to point B is a pretty standard task that still has multiple approaches. One of them is spatial hashing or space partitioning. As you may already know, I'm working on an evolution simulator. While well, each creature has a vision radius, and that's where we need to search. First, let's take a look at a Noah Van brute force solution. That could be optimal if there are not that many objects. Well, it's just going through each body, comparing the distance with each, and getting the one with the lowest distance. But if we want to spawn more objects, the algorithm will be really suboptimal. The idea is that the field is now split into partitions and becomes a grid. Let's take a look at this body and think where it's reasonable to search. Well, because we know the vision radius, the minimum x we need to search from is x minus radius divided by the cell width, and ideally like this to make sure we don't go beyond the field. The maximum x is x plus r divided by the cell width, with this added, and analogically for the minimum and maximum y. And yes, we do still go through each object and find the closest one, but now we only take the reasonable ones. Now, what if we just needed to find the closest neighbor to a given point? Well, this is a little bit more tricky because we don't know how far exactly we can search, and the neighbor can be indefinitely far away. Well, there are several approaches on this, but here's the one I find the most intuitive. The idea is to expand an imaginary rectangle until reaching a cell containing objects. So there is nothing here, let's move. Now we see a layer containing objects. It might seem as if all we need to do is find the closest object from these. But in potentially rare but possible cases, one object outside the rectangle is really the closest. Here is an instance. The safest way is to get the distance between the object and this maybe closest neighbor, and use it as the radius of the circle. Now we need to get the cells the circle overlaps, and search from there too. This way we make sure we get the genuinely closest neighbor. Now let's take a look at benchmarks. This is how long it takes to find the closest neighbor for each of the 31,000 objects without spatial hashing. And this is how much faster it becomes if we do use it. And you can obviously use as many cells as you want, but the general rule has to be that the more objects there are, the more cells there have to be. I've also made a demonstration you can play around with and try different cell layouts for different amounts of objects. 